all righty taurus taurus this is for you guys sorry about the angle my daughter played with my phone stand last night and now it's a little loose i'm gonna have to buy another one but anyway taurus this is for you taurus we're gonna work on something more positive instead of the negative taurus this is what your ancestors are freeing you from this person holds you back from friend, friends and family and work. So Taurus, you have a person. Before I get into this, let me tell you, cross watchers for Taurus, you may get triggered because this might have something to do with you. If you get triggered, don't be because a lot of people watch these videos. And if you would like a personal reading, uh, all that information is on my channel in the about me section. It will take you to, there's a link that will take you to my Etsy shop. All right, anyway, Taurus, you have a person that's holding you back from friends and family, and a spirit is going to block this person out, okay? Your ancestors are getting freeing you from this person. The person you work with is in love with you. So you have a person, Taurus, that is in love with you at work, and your ancestors know this person is no good. They're either going to use you for something, you know what that something is, and uh, they're going to be freeing you. Either you've already dealt with this situation, Taurus, or uh, this person is coming in and they're freeing you from it even happening, okay? What is my Taurus people being freed from? What are your ancestors freeing you from, Taurus? Taurus people, zodiac sign of Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, but I'm mainly focused on your sun sign. But it can re resonate with those as well. 18 to 25 year old. So, Taurus, you could be this age or someone. You could have a child this age or there is a 18 to 25 year old. Ooh, sex offender but hasn't been caught yet. So, Taurus, you are being freed from someone who... Maybe someone is trying to set you up. I'm getting someone's trying to set you up and bring someone in that maybe looks baby-faced, but they're between, this, between the ages of 18 to 25, and they think that you could be this, so they're trying to set you up. You're being freed from that situation as well. In debt, Taurus, if you've been in debt, your ancestors are helping you pay off anything that needs to be paid off. They're freeing your mind from overthinking about all the debt that you've been in. And they are making sure that you have a game plan to pay off these debts so that you can move forward freely. Real quick, pretty, shiny, good looking, the devil plotting, do not accept. Yeah, Taurus, so... You have somebody here that is definitely trying to set you up. <clears throat> they believe that they can set you up this way. Okay, so don't fall for it. Um, there is something. They believe that you are that way. Or they're going to try to set you up somehow. Somebody's trying to set you up somehow with this situation. And Taurus, if this is you doing this... Your ancestors are saying, no, don't do that to this person because we're freeing yourself from even getting up in this drama, this mess, and everything. But real quick, pretty, shiny, good looking, the devil is plotting. Do not accept or do not accept. Uh, do not accept anything new at this time that is good looking to you, that can make you fast money, that can uh, a person coming in that's maybe a younger person that's this age, uh, they could say something that along these lines of you being some type of sex offender or something. So just stay away from this person between the ages of 18 to 25. You'll know if that resonates with you. That's not going to resonate with everyone. Uh, the magic backfired 10 times. So Taurus, whoever is doing black magic on you, any type of magic, chaos magic, confusion, any type of magic on you, it backfired. It went back to that person. Um, your ancestors are looking out for you and they are making sure that nothing happens to you. 
okay? So they're freeing you from a situation with magic. This person coming back will put you in the same negative cycle. So Taurus, you have a person that you maybe uh, let go of, and this person wants to come back, or you keep thinking about this person and taking this person back. Your ancestors are saying, no, we're going, we are going to block that situation out because you, they will put you in the same negative cycle and you want to move on in a healthy way. And just remember, it's the devil plotting, okay? Do not accept. Do not accept anyone that you know is not good for your peace of mind, your well-being, your health, anything like that, okay? This person could have braces or veneers. Doesn't have to be, or they could. But you may want Taurus braces or veneers, or this person is getting, thinking about getting braces or veneers too. So if you resonate with that, let me know in the comment section, section down below. Um, yeah, this person either is thinking about getting braces or veneers, or they want some type of work done on their teeth, or they're getting some type of... Uh, dentistry work done okay uh, let's see what are my or I'm also getting for those Tauruses if you would like work done and you haven't been able to afford uh, getting veneers or braces or anything then you're sorry I'm gonna move it this way so you can see a little bit better and my daughter messed with this so told her to put it down last night but she kept playing with it my 17 year old kept doing that <laughs> okay anyway she's still a kid though so whatever uh so taurus you may have a uh you may have been blocked from getting these so braces or veneers and your ancestors are saying you know what we're going to let Torah, we're going to give Taurus a solution because, you know, a lot of people have messed up teeth and it makes them have self-esteem issues, low self-esteem. So we are going to come up with uh, an insurance that you'll be able to get this done. So they're going to free you from any, you know, any troubles of you getting that done. You wanted to get done it done, but you couldn't because your insurance or something like that. Okay, so you'll be able to eventually get that mad you are claiming your power back you're taking your power back yeah so you have a person that wants to come in and put you in the same cycle and your ancestors are saying no stay in your power and don't let this person come in and ruin things for you okay so we also have lies friends closest ones so you have a closest friend that keeps lying to you you could have a best friend or a very close friend that you would con consider a best friend, Taurus, and they keep lying to you. So your ancestors know about this, and they've heard things that you haven't about what is being said behind your back. So they are blocking this person out from, from doing anything, okay? New levels, new devils. Yeah, so Taurus, you could be on some something new at this time. You could be doing something new and <clears throat> you have people that know that you are accomplishing new things in life and they want to come and stop that. Okay, so real quick, pretty shiny, don't accept, good looking, the devil is plotting, do not accept. New levels, new devils. So people are trying to set you up and because you're moving forward in some type of um, something that you're doing, these people don't like it. There's somebody out there that doesn't like it. Could be your friends, but 18 to 25 year old and sex offender, but hasn't been caught yet. So they're going to try to set you up this way. There's something here that they're going to try. So this could be a person that is between 18 years to 25 years old, between 18 and 25. And we have real quick, pretty shiny, good looking, devil plotting, do not accept new levels, new devils. So you're doing something and these people, these friends or something, they're mad at you and they're throwing magic towards your way, your way. And they're going to try to set you up with somebody who has a baby face. That's what I'm getting. I keep getting, uh, someone who has a baby face. So, uh, if you're a Taurus that someone comes your way 
and uh, I don't know, they online or something, they're going to have a baby face. They're going to look really young, but they're going to try to set you up to where in this situation, you'll know if this resonates with you, but if it doesn't resonate and this happens later on, just keep this in your mind. If you know, you go through this situation and you start to go through this situation and you have that gut feeling, then yeah, stay away because we have jail time trying to get you locked up. Wish you would somehow and waiting on this news. Yeah, so someone is trying to get you locked up, Taurus, because they you have new things happening in your life here and they don't like that. Okay, so your ancestors are blocking these people out, blocking these situations out. But you know, it can sneak through this situation here and uh, you're going to need to definitely use your intuition and use that gut feeling and just make sure your intuition, make sure that if you it doesn't feel right, don't do that because I really feel like uh, someone is trying to do that to you, okay? We have your child is going through a tough time mentally. Do something to get closer. So Taurus, you have a child that is going through a tough time. Uh, at this time and maybe you are a parent that is always wanting to um, get close to your child but you don't have the time because you have to work 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 well spirit is going to free up the time for you so that you can get close to your child and spend time with your child because they are going through a tough time mentally I know that for a lot of parents out there school started mine I have three kids and they all my teenagers have started their school and yeah so i know that it can be tough for kids to start school and bowling a lot of bowling happens so just your your child's going through some tough situations mentally so spirit's going to free up some time your ancestors are giving you some time so you can spend time with your child also another storyline here i'm getting is that for those overbearing um I don't mean to call it overbearing because I'm a parent that, you know, I want to know where my kid, at, kid, children are. I have a 17 year old that will be 18 and I, you know, want to know where she is all the time and what she's doing and what she's doing at work and making sure she's safe because you never know. Better to be safe than sorry, I always say. So you have a child and you're always, you know, connected to this child and you're just, oh, you, you know, they don't want to share with you because you're always just telling them what to do or you're just um, a little overbearing. I'll say overbearing. That's the word I'm getting, so I'm gonna just say it. Uh, but you, you're doing the right thing. You're a parent, you, you're a concerned parent, and that's great because there's not a lot of parents that even care about their children. Um, your child is going through a tough time mentally. Do something to get closer. So you could want, to instead of being so overbearing and always up in your child's face and saying what they need to do and you've already learned this lesson and they need to do this that and the other thing um you're going to need to connect with your child a different way so your ancestors want you to connect with your child um something that they do so some whatever your child likes to do they want you to be open to that so that you can connect with your child and kind of shape shift into your child so that your child can uh, feel comfortable with telling you things, if that makes sense, okay? All right, moving on. What am I Taurus is being freed from? Taurus's ancestors, what are they being freed from? Save your money, every penny counts, new journey coming. So Taurus, you could have a person that is... Um, you could, you could have, let's say you're in a, I'm getting abusive relationship, okay? And you need, and someone is always blocking your money. You're never able to save. You're maybe a single woman or even a single man because it happens to men too. And you need to save your money and you have your spouse always right there constantly making sure that every penny gets spent on them and you're trying to get out of this situation. I know a lot of women, this happens to a lot of women, but it also happens to a lot of men as well. So you, spirit is blocking these people, this person, this place, there's this thing out so that you can start saving your money and because you have some type of new journey coming to you. 
they are also blocking out uh, a message. So someone wants to communicate with you and I'm getting it's this person that wants to set you up right here. Some friend of yours is jealous that you have new things happening in your life that you created, okay? And they're upset. So you may have, you know, stop talking to them, seen right through them and they're, you know, BS. So you're just done. Okay, you're done with whatever they got going on. Whatever they're jealous. You know they're jealous. And I had black magic or spell work wanted to flip out here. I'm not going to take it because it didn't flip. I only take the ones that drop. But we do have the magic backfire 10 times. So you don't have to worry about that. Do not rush this person, place, or thing. It will backfire on you if you do. So, Taurus, if you're trying to... Uh, well, you're try someone's coming in, they want to communicate, but spirit is blocking this person out from messaging you, all right, with that one. And with this, do not rush this person, place thing, it will backfire on, on you. Um, I'm getting that you want something when you want something and you want it now, all right? And you cannot do that with whatever situation you're thinking about right now. So if you resonate with this and you have that feeling, oh, I know what that is. Do not rush that person, place, or thing because it is going to backfire on you if you do. So spirit is, your ancestors are blocking that out. They're blocking your urges to just push through really fast and just, I want it now type of energy. Secretly hurting inside wants you suffering too. So there's a person that that is around you. This could be friends. This could be family members, coworkers, neighbors, anything like that, Okay. This could be exes, anything. So there's a person that is hurting around you and they want you to hurt too. So they're trying to hurt you back. And they could be trying to do this situation here. Or they're just mad because you're, you're, you're moving on. And they don't like that. So they want uh, maybe this person peer pressure always putting you, pushing you into some BS that you don't want to do. Okay, and you're just tired of it. You told this person no. You cut this person out and you're just done. You're tired of it. So the spirit is blocking these people out of your life um, from always putting you in some something, some BS, some drama, someone you, you know, you don't want to do this, but they're always like forcing you to do it. No, Taurus, come on, let's go do this. Let's go do that. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, I want you to do it. Well, they're hurt because you cut their asses off, all right? So stop try, trying to stop you from leveling up. And what did I just say here? New levels, new devils, Taurus. Trying to stop you from level, leveling up. Keep going, okay? Keep going. These, these cards look a hot mess, but you know what? I made them a long time ago. A lot of people seem to resonate with these, so I use them. And I don't want to create a new deck with the right ones, but this is like paper cards, so... You see the little white droppings? I always do this, but sorry about that. But anyway, yes, they're trying to stop you from leveling up, Taurus. Uh, don't, just don't even worry about that. Your ancestors are blocking this person or these people out of your life. So they're blocking whatever they're trying to do to you. They're blocking it. There is a lot of magic that is being done. All right, food demon, eats nonstop, don't take food, trying to get make you gain weight. Okay, Taurus, so let's say you're a Taurus and you want to lose weight, all right? But you have a friend, and now I know, friend. I've been in this situation before, friends, they want to sit there and they get a little jealous when you start, you know, wanting better for yourself and you start losing weight. So your friend comes in and they go, hey, Taurus, let's go to that restaurant. Or let's go eat this cake. Or I, uh, let's have a new movie night. And they brought a million snacks. And, you know, you're trying to eat healthy and rice cakes. Instead, they want you to eat M&M's during the movie. And chocolate bars and all that type of stuff. Ice cream, cakes, all that. So, uh, I'm getting, there's a person that loves to eat cake out here. Cake is a big thing. I'm getting heavy on the cake. Do not eat that cake. Do not eat that cake. Keep walking. Because new levels, new devils. People are sending uh, whoever wants you to gain weight. They're jealous of your progression. And they want you to still, you know, be the same old Taurus you were, okay? So 
Stay away from that cake, whoever you are. I'm getting heavy on the cake. I don't know why, but it's cake. I don't know. I There's lemon cake out here, too. Okay, so whatever that means to you, let me know in the comment section down below. below but there's a Taurus who likes lemon cake. Stay away from lemon cake or cake products at all. Okay? Reconciliation. Yes, your ancestors are blocking out um, someone who is trying to reconcile with you. They're blocking out someone who uh, wants to get back on your good graces and they think that, you know, there's still a chance between you. No. So Taurus, if you broke up with someone else, if you've broken up with someone and you can't get this person off your mind, they are doing magic on you. So that could be uh, uh, love spells. When you do a love spell on someone, you don't need little herbs and spices and jars and all that thing. What they do is think about you constantly and they say your name over and over and over again. Or they um, write down your name. Or they just look at the stars at night and they just keep saying your name over and over saying, I wish, I wish, I wish. Well, your ancestors know that person is no good, so they're blocking that person out. And that magic is going to backfire on them, okay? Because you and this person are not meant to be together. And even if you are, it's not going to be right now. There are things. You know what? I'm going to take this because now my card bent. And this did want to come out before I told you that spell work being done. Yeah, so spell work. Um, watch your moods, breakups, watch your body changes. If you're sad, lazy, stays inside, weight gain, weight loss. We also have food demon out here, so eats nonstop. Someone's doing spell work on your body. They want you to gain a bunch of weight. Uh, weight, weight gain, weight loss, confused, lack of motivation, hair loss, rashes, you feel ugly, suicidal thoughts, shaved head. So one day you just all of a sudden want to do something crazy to your hair. It doesn't have to shave your hair, but maybe you have really long hair and you just want to cut it all off. Um, male, female, take it how it resonates. You let me know in the comment section down below. Conflict with others, lacking your ideas and money, losses, closed off to people, back to your old habits, crying and insecure. Okay, so this, this person um, is definitely doing spell work on you, Taurus, but the magic backfired 10 times. Okay, so that is out here. That finally came. It didn't come out, but when I flip, it doesn't fall, but my cards start to bend and do little creases like that. That means I'm going to take it. Plus it. Yeah, it wanted to come out anyway. So I had a feeling it was going to. Um, we have kids don't like... Kids don't like him or her doing your saying whatever it takes to get rid of this person. Okay, so this could be with this situation too. Um, Taurus, you could have... Um, you could be in a relationship with a woman. And you could... This woman could have kids... And you could have cut this woman off. This is one storyline I'm getting. Uh, and this woman is pissed off that you cut her out of your life. So she's telling her kids to make up things like this about you. The sex offender but hasn't been caught yet. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so if you cut... You know what? Let's get a zodiac sign. Who is this? Who's this person doing the spell work? Who? What is a sex offender? Who's trying to do that to my Tauruses? Who's the sex offender? Give me the zodiac sign. Aries. Okay, we have heavy Aries. Aries. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So Aries could be a uh, Pisces, Aries, Cusper. Uh, and it could be... Yeah, so Pisces, Aries, Cusper... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or not Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but Aries, Pisces, Cusper, Aries, Energy, and then we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? So those signs are going to say something about you, and one more, I'll take it. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? So Taurus, they're going to say that you are some type of sex offender, all right? And they're going to try to set you up somehow. So we, once again, we have Aries energy out here. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and we have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let me know if you are dealing with an ex of yours and down in the comments section below. 
and and make sure you watch for these people right here okay because that is heavy on that's heavy out here everywhere with with what they're trying to do that's their game plan here but spirit is going to block it out okay so it may they might may send this person in but you know i don't know you just need to use your intuition but it'll be blocked out it's the spirit is freeing you from that situation and maybe you did break up with someone and the kids are saying a bunch of stuff but you'll be free from that situation so just be mindful just be mindful maybe you divorce somebody because we have these in-laws are in your paperwork so there's in-laws in your paperwork taurus and uh your ancestors are making sure that if they are in the x unfaithful love triangle x in question yes i said the x so you broke up with someone who had kids could have had kids by them and now they're playing this card trick right here to say that you're doing this situation right here and they have in-laws in your paperwork and your mail just be mindful spirit your ancestors are blocking these people out they want to reconcile with you definitely communicate with you expressing feelings we have out here they're trying to get you locked up you're moving on to better things right here so just be mindful there are uh they're mad you're claiming your power back just be careful we have friends out here twice or no this person is trying to hold you back from friends and family and work will always cheat on you has lots of options so yeah you have a person that you're dealing with taurus they will always cheat on you because they have lots of options it could be this people cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra and aquarius or an aries person but we're going to pull some cards to see who this person is who has all the options who has all the options virgo taurus or capricorn so you could be dealing with one of those signs taurus a virgo taurus or a capricorn or a pisces water energy pisces okay so this person has lots of options and they will cheat on you one more for the person who has lots of oh, i guess you get two more uh gemini energy i did say gemini libra and aquarius right here and we have more uh gemini libra and aquarius right here so definitely taurus if you're dealing with heavy on the air sign gemini libra and aquarius this person has lots of options and they your ancestors are blocking you out from this person or these people let me know in the comment section down below give me a thumbs up if you resonate with this reading definitely heavy on the air heavy on the water and uh earth sign energy taurus virgo capricorn okay so what of the tauruses are being freed from i'm going to try to give you guys a longer video because you guys deserve a longer video i know i'm a little slow with getting your stuff out there blocking your health and fitness work habits organization service given yes didn't i say food demon right here so somebody's blocking you from working on your fitness they want you to be overweight and eating non-stop and all that so just make sure that you stay motivated and focused on your fitness okay because even though your ancestors are working on kicking their arse uh with sending that magic back to them but they're trying to mess with your sixth house they're blocking your sixth house with his health health and fitness push pull power struggle imbalance cut off cut off all communication yeah so your ancestors definitely make sure is making sure that you cut off all communication and this is what you're doing you are in healing mode you're healing you use your intuition i said that about this situation over here you're using your intuition you're paying attention to your dreams you're having keeping your faith and your ancestors are guiding you okay so they're guiding you into your new levels which bring new devils so just keep that in mind so there are going to be when you're you, you start moving forward in a healthy way the devil doesn't like that and they plot okay so we have wants you to have bad karma so this person wants you to have bad karma 
hidden love interest in a different state or town. So Taurus, this person could have uh, kept a hidden love interest from you in a different town. Let's say they travel for work um, and you you are at home or you're working or whatever and this person travels out of state or in a different town. Well, they have a hidden love interest in a different town. What is meant for you and there, this person is being blocked from and removed their your ancestors are freeing this person out of your energy because they are slowing you down what is meant for you will always be for you rejection is god's protection yes so your your ancestors they want you to have the guidance that you need they're helping you they want you to keep your faith strong they want you to heal and use your intuition and rejection is god's protection they want you to know that because what this means for you now is you may be sad, you may be hurt, you thought that person was your end-all be-all, but it's okay because God is redirecting you to a different chapter in your life, your new levels, new devils, and they are trying very, very hard to stop you from that, okay? So rejection is God's protection. Yes, that important phone call that is being blocked. Your ancestors are definitely blocking this person out from uh, making, trying to call you. How you will meet them in a store. So this person, Taurus, you could be, let's say you're a cashier at some place and you met this person. And this person is going to try so hard to go back to those places where they met you. And they are going to make sure that if you still have that, that job at that work where you met this person at, they're going to make sure that you are nowhere near uh, this place. So let's say this person goes to the store and you just got off work or your whole schedule is now changed. So your ancestors, if you're, you know, upset about a schedule change, of some kind just know that that was for your protection your ancestors did that for you to protect you because this person is trying to show up because you blocked them out okay so what else do we have we have desire self-pleasure sexual thoughts intense feelings yeah so this person is desiring you and they want they want you in a they want you in the bedroom, okay? So your ancestors are blocking this person out because this person is trying to set you up because you hurt them. Ooh, yeah, see, I do have a setup right here. So yeah, Taurus, this person is trying to set you up because you hurt them. Do not fall for that. Uh, your ancestors are blocking it out anyway, but they're really, really pissed off. They're trying to set you up. They're doing all kinds of magic on you. They want you fat. All that karmic family so karmic family you have some karmic family members Taurus and they are no good for you your ancestors know that these people are no good for you so we do have in-laws out here so that would be considered karmic too. your exes in-laws and everything uh, not only that you'll know if you have toxic family members that you're trying to cut ties with but you haven't uh, and they're blocking these toxic people out of your life. Your ancestors are blocking this karmic family. Uh, don't bring a child into this world until you heal your childhood traumas. Too many children are born to mothers who never healed and fathers. Okay, so <clears throat> if you are pregnant and someone or you want a baby really, really badly, you want a baby and someone is saying, uh, Taurus, you're, you're, you know, not motherly or fatherly, or you had a bad past, or, you know, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be bringing a child into this world because I just have a feeling you're just going to mess that kid up or whatever. No, your, your ancestors are saying, no, this could be toxic family members. Maybe you have had a toxic past and you are changing for the better. Well, these family members are saying this about you and could be behind your back. Who knows? But uh, your ancestors are blocking these people out and you will end up um, healing your traumas and you will move forward. Okay. With you and your spouse will have this baby. 
Your spouse wants you to show him or her you are happy to be with them. The time is now. Okay, so Taurus, you have a spouse. Maybe you have you have a clingy spouse. Okay, your spouse is too clingy. Your spouse drives you crazy with the cling. Okay, and everybody needs their freedom. So, yes, you do need to show your spouse some you know, show them that you care, but your ancestors are blocking that person out from always being attached to you, okay, so you're, they have codependency issues, and your ancestors are moving this person away and making sure that you can focus on your happiness, I mean, there comes a point to where people need space and relationships they all need space right and you you could have a spouse that always wants your attention 24 7 they're texting your phone non-stop at work then everything is about them after work and they just need you need you need you okay so your ancestors are making sure this person gives you some space because you are, you need a break, okay? You have new things in your life happening for those coupled Tauruses, and they're blocking this person out from clinging to you. Snooping, drive-by stalking, social media, psychic, tarot readings, okay? So this person, uh, this person, I did say store. So this person is driving by the store. They're stalking your social media. They could be getting psychic tarot readings done on you. They could go to a psychic and ask about you. They could be getting tarot readings. They could have also done magic here too. Went to somebody and got magic done. We have child services, slander, all talk. So there's somebody out there. Uh, let's see. Don't bring a child into this world until you're fully healed. So Taurus, uh, your family, we have karmic family and then we have child services out here too. So your family could be saying, calling child services on you or want to, but they are being blocked from doing so because, uh, yeah, they're trying to call child services. This, this karmic family, these people are being blocked from doing that. So don't worry about that. Um, they're trying to say that you're a bad parent and that you're, you're filled with trauma and you're unhealed. You have emotional issues you need to do and you take it out on the kids. Okay. So you're being blocked and stopped from that. Uh, blocking your fifth house, romance, love affairs. So childlike spirit, self-expression. So someone is trying to block that your romance and love affairs. Let's see who's trying to block my Taurus's fifth house, Taurus, your fifth house, Taurus's fifth house, who is this person, more air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus is trying to block that out for you, your, if you're childlike, they're trying to block that out, they want you mad, upset, they're trying to block, uh, any romance in your life, any you expressing yourself to the world, they're trying to block that out from you, for you, okay? Uh, we have Sun and Scorpio, so it could be a Scorpio person as well. Sun and Scorpio, so Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or a Scorpio is trying to block this out for you, for you. I am going to close this out here after I get a couple more and we're going on 40 minutes now about 40 minutes so we have red flag signs cheating deception so spirit is blocking someone out from lying and cheating on you and we did I did have uh someone what no faith yeah, so red flags. So you, Taurus, in the past didn't listen to your intuition and you didn't listen to your intuition. Yeah, here we go. You never listen to your intuition because you want to see the best in people. Uh, this person could be uh, 
they're, they're a people pleaser. Okay, two different storylines here. You have one person that is a people pleaser and a gift giver. And they give gifts. But because they give so many gifts to you, you don't, you just, you don't look at the red signs because they're, they're pleasing you somehow. They're doing something to you that, that you're not going, oh, okay, he would never, or she would never. And you're not paying attention to the red flags here about the deception and the cheating. You're not trusting the signs. You're not using your intuition, but now spirit, your ancestors are making sure that you use your intuition. They're sending you dreams they're making sure that you heal so that you're stronger and you see these things here. Even though they're a people pleaser and they like to give you gifts and things like that, they're trying to, you know, take your mind off what they did wrong. And it may make you happy at first because you got this expensive gift or you got to go here or there or you got to see them or, you know, whatever. You know, sometimes a gift is another person, so their attention or whatever. So just keep that in mind. So, yeah, spirit is uh, blocking that out. They're making sure that you start opening yourself up to the deception and you're paying attention to the red flag or the red, the red flag. Sorry. Also, we have people pleaser. There are Tauruses out there who you could be a gift giver. You are a pleaser. You like to please your partner, your spouse, your friend, your family member, whatever, co-worker, everything. Take it how it resonates. You are a gift giver, okay? You like to give, 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 give. And people take your kindness for your weakness. Now, what your ancestors are doing is taking you out of this situation. They're taking you out of the situation from giving so much, from people uh, you taking your kindness for your weakness. So for those of you that are gift givers, you won't be gift givers for long. You'll be paying attention to the red flags about that and know, knowing that people take your kindness for your weakness. Okay, so there's no more of that. Now we have keep your faith. Keep your faith. A lot of bad before the good uh, will come. Don't Don't give up. So yeah. Your angels say don't give up. Your ancestors say don't give up. There's a lot of bad that happens before the good. Like new levels, new devils, Taurus, right? Oh, here we go. Karmic family member. Those church, or it doesn't have to be family members, but those church slash godly people in your family are the real ones who stir the pot. Yes, to oh, yes Taurus. So you have people who go to church. They act all... Uh, religious, they act religious, and in reality, they're the ones who stir the pot the most. They're the ones who figure you out, and they like to figure things out about you, and the second that they do, they go run their mouth to other family members, or they say things that weren't said, so everybody has been in that position before, so we all know how things get twisted and whatever. All right, now I'm going to give you guys one more, and then I'm going to close this out. Or two more. So, animal lover. You could be an animal lover, and you need to... You're being blocked by getting a new pet. Maybe you have too many pets, okay? Your ancestors say, that's enough pets. You have too many, all right? I don't know... What it is with this, but strong on getting a new pet and you want one so bad, but you have too many already and you don't need another one. All right. So your ancestors are saying no. Show the ones love and care that you already have. All right. Drinking is only hurting you more. Drink one and do something healthy. Yes. Yeah, so Taurus, for those of you that are drinkers, you may... Uh, uh, two storylines here. This is magic being done on you. So somebody knows that you could have been a heavy alcoholic. You could have drank a lot in your life. And they're doing this spell work. They're doing spell work on you. And they want you to drink and drink and drink. So if you are a Taurus that has quit 
you drink, you were an alcoholic and you started new things in your life to where you wanted to do something healthy. Like we have food demon out here, a lot of magic on, could be even back to your old habits. So the spell work being done. So you could be a drinker and you could be, you know, trying to be healthy. And instead of being an alcoholic, maybe you drank one, you're drinking one now, and then you're moving on to, you know, water or something like that. Maybe you're just drinking now just to even see if that's what you want to do. Okay, so someone's doing spell work. So if you're an alcoholic or you're a tourist that likes to drink heavy, okay, and all of a sudden you find yourself back into drinking nonstop and you can't figure out why when you were doing so well, that is the spell work being done on you, okay? So just keep that in the back of your head because someone is doing work on you here. And uh, yeah, that's... That's definitely what I'm getting with that. Someone is definitely trying to make you go back to your old habits. They want you to overeat. They want you to, you're going to try, they're trying to set you up somehow. Uh, watch the sex offender thing. I don't know if it's going to happen to you because this is what your ancestors are freeing you from, Taurus. So, but yeah, so, um, all right, I'm going to close this out right here. Taurus, thank you for watching. If you resonated with that, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already for more free videos. And that has been your reading. We're into 46 minutes. Had to make it up to you guys. All right, have a good one, Taurus.